touched on hmm? Leicester there being top of the pal. You must be impressed at what your your old manager Claudio Ranieri has done this season. Well, Claudio was all underestimated, and he's also we're good friends. We often meet up time to time and have lunch and that. When he's passed in through Monte Carlo, or, and so and I went to his daughter's wedding in Rome. Um, but he's a nice he's a nice man, very quiet and unassuming. And he builds long term, long term. I mean, the way he was treated by Chelsea was disgraceful. Uh, they knew we were going to get rid of him. That's why he said, "I'm the dead man walking." It created the phrase, and um, he got Chelsea to this semi-final of the uh, European Cup. They just bombed him out, and uh, and he's been around since. He shouldn't take the Greek international job. That was a mistake on his part, but he came back Leicester. Look at now Leicester, very quiet, nice, quiet, gentle coming on. And I'm very pleased for him. Then Robert Hooth, who was a kid uh, with me at Chelsea, and Peter Schmeichel, who was here. Even Casper Schmeichel, his son. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, dear, age, age, age. <laughs> you know, I'm delighted he's doing so well. And uh, that's... You know, an English, well, it's owned by Malay, owned by Thai people, eh? but it's being run as an English club and it's coming through well, and it's great. And actually, what do you think about the Premiership this year? In spite of all the money, we've got Bournemouth, Watford, Norwich, Stoke, Leicester. We've got some small English clubs, small now, well, provincial English clubs, with no great financial resources, and they're doing well. And it's great. And it's nice when you've got Aston Villa, owned by Mr. Lerner of America. You've got Sunderland, don't know who owns them. And who's the third one? Is it Newcastle? Can't remember that. Newcastle down there, yeah. Mike Ashley, big belly. I met him years ago. Um, it's nice to see the big club struggling. Because um, at the end of the day, you go in three o'clock, you go on. Man on man, how much do you want it? How much do you want it? In closing, I'll tell us about Elton John. He was being interviewed on BBC a few years ago. And he's a lovely man, I've met him, he's a lovely man. <coughs> and he said, Well, he used to do pubs and clubs around Watford and Luton. And he said, uh, Yeah, well, I used to play the piano. With a better pianist than me, I could sing a bit. There's better singers than me. And I could write songs with a better song than me. But I wanted it more. How much do you want it? Now he's a billionaire, good luck to him, but not the money's important. He succeeded because he wanted it. And if you think about it, there are plenty of failed geniuses, but there are also a lot of people who have really succeeded because they wanted it more. And that's the message to all you kids outside, how much you want it. If you're good enough, you know, go and get it done. And just lastly though, you mentioned the big club struggling. Of course the biggest uh, of those this season is, is Chelsea uh, and Jose Mourinho. What, what do you make uh, of that situation, the champions down well, at the bottom? I'm only looking at it obviously from the outside. Well, I think Mourinho is his own worst enemy. I mean, his behaviour towards that doctor was foolish, to say the least of it. And if he'd been big enough, if he'd been a big man, he'd have said, oh, God, Fanny Annie, what name is, I'm so sorry, you know, forgive me, I was silly, caught the end of it. That would have been the end of it. But because he was so stubborn, he's dragging on, look at that, cool celeb, she's suing the country, she's suing the club. And he didn't think he'd have to appear, and she's suing him now, so he will have to appear in public, not in front of the, a falling TV uh, reporter audience, but in front of a bloody judge, and have to explain his behaviour. And it's dragged, dragged Chelsea down, and I think it has affected, I think it has affected uh, their performance, because you're coming back to the leadership, aren't you? There's no way they, last year's champions, there's no way they should be 
was it 17th, 16th, 17th? No, we should be there. But there's something wrong somewhere. But we will know in May.